And now I'd like to talk to you about rise and fall. Um, one of the most basic things we learn when we first uh, start to dance is how to go up onto our toes and how to lower down into our heels. So again, rise is the use of the ankles going up to the toes and then fall is simply the connection of weight back to the floor. Now then, this I feel definitely is one of the most misunderstood ideas. It's a basic one and so many different ways it's delivered with tension, um, with force. Um, you simply need to feel that you've, at first, that you've got hold of two big suitcases and they're pulling your shoulders down. And when you go up, they, the suitcases are getting even heavier. When you lower, they're getting lighter. So when you go up, they're getting heavier. And when you go down, they're getting lighter. Now the lightness, what I mean by that is that when you rise up onto your toes, you should actually feel the shoulders working down. And when you lower, they stay down, but you feel your abdominals working up. So basically, when we say rise and fall, as we're going up, we're actually thinking of going down. And when we go down, we're actually thinking of going up. So I just want to show you this. Watch. We have down, up, down, up. And I'm showing you with my arms, don't worry about the shoulders, what I'm feeling within my body. So most of the time, what we naturally think of when we go up is going up and inhaling. And when we go down, uh, when we go up, and when we go down, uh, I want you to do the exact opposite when trying this exercise for me. I want you to exhale when you go up. And I want you to inhale when you go down. Exhale up. and inhale when you go down. Because what we need to do is keep the shoulders connected to the hip and only rise through the ankles. And quite often, when we think about going up, we open the rib cage, we take a big deep breath because we're using our stretch to go up, and then we get tense. When we come down, we just collapse everything. So when we actually lower into our legs, I actually feel that my center is like accordion, that musical instrument that opens and closes, opens and closes. Now, when we close, we don't actually collapse the ribs, but we feel a little bit more of a relaxation. So as I'm lowering, I'm feeling I'm opening. And as I close, I feel that my central weight and belly button is going back to the spine. I'm going to open again. And I'm going to feel the center working back. And at this time, Darius will bring me the stretchy band again to demonstrate just what is happening. So what I do with this exercise is simply take the band and I'll show you what's, what is actually going on in the body. As I'm lowering, I'm stretching. When I rise and go up onto the toe, I release the band and get the balance. So we have lowering and release the band. Lowering and release the band. So when I release the band, what I'm doing is I'm taking the stomach muscles back. Anytime you are up on your toes, you want to feel the middle of your back hanging perfectly over the tip of the toes. Whenever we rise through our feet, we never want to open the rib cage and take the sternum off the standing leg. We want to keep the sternum over the standing leg, have everything hanging through the toe and work the stomach muscles back. So by stretching that band, you can feel what the body is actually doing. And when I lower, when I actually lower, I'm opening and when I rise, I'm closing. 
opening and closing. I'm not literally allowing alignments to change, but internally, I want you to be able to experience and feel what is going on in the body because we tend to do it back to front. So remember, when you are going down, you are up in the body. Feel the head working to the ceiling. When you are rising, feel that there's like a tabletop and you are going above that tabletop. You are feeling yourself above it. You're not doing this, but you're actually rising above that action. Now, one little thing. When I say that you're working against the tabletop ladies, don't do this for me. Do not put pressure on your partner's arms because I will be in big trouble, okay? I'm not teaching you to be heavy. I'm teaching you to feel that you're working the ankles, not the arms, but you are not doing this, opening the rib cage. Again, when you lower, you're stretching up. When you rise, you are pulling in and back. And by practicing this exercise, your rise and fall will go to a completely different level because you're internally balanced and you're working opposite to the way you naturally think.